this is a cooling mod, if you could call it that, but this is just designed to keep it as cool as possible. Uh, this is my uh, Dell N5110, which I've done a few mods. Um, it's not the best video in the world, but if you can look at that, you can see that the laptop isn't 100% level. Uh, this is because of the thing I've done. Uh, I've added uh, some of these little dimples you can see just about here. If I just move it over to here, you will see that this is the default level one, and these are just that little bit taller just to give it more height to feed the air into the fan and and to try and keep it as cool as possible. Plus, um, by having that little little ramp on it, it helps with the copper pipe to cool it. Um, the next one is, as you've already seen, I've cut parts of the back case up, especially around the heat sink. Um, here, I've basically totally destroyed it in order to fit two. They're designed for RAM, really, rather than what I'm using them for. But... I've done it to try and get the cooling down as best as I can. Uh, this little foam part here you can see, that is purely just to stop the hot air from going back into the fan. Uh, when it's stirred, it's blocking any type of air from coming back into the fan. Um, the other thing obviously you're seeing quite easily is this gap here below here is the problem is not the CPU directly below that copper pipe is the graphics chip which is the 525G GeForce 525 um, is that that's getting very hot in gaming 80 to 90 Celsius which I'm concerned about, but laptops being laptops, there's not really much else I can do. Um, that's the laptop. Now, the other thing I've done is got a laptop cooler, which is a Cooler Masters, I can't remember the full name of it, but it is a laptop cooler available from all over the place, really. They originally come with three USB fans, but I got rid of them and I bought three X Silent Slimline cooling case fans for PCs. Then I've modified it and I've just put a standard piece, uh, standard desktop connection on PSUs onto it, and then on the other side, I've I've done the same but to a 12 volt DC adapter with a 7 point some amps. I worked it all out and I tested it and it's been fine. It's, it's, I've been using this for the best part of six months and I haven't had an issue. The USB ones pretty much gave up quite quickly really. The USBs, it just didn't have the power and but yeah, that's about it really. I've also cut this off. A lot of people laugh and say, why did you do that? But it's just, it don't look that good, I'll give you that. But at the end of the day, you may ask why we've got all the tape around there. But I want the air to be going under because the fans are set up to blow it down. It isn't blowing into the laptop, it's blowing away from the laptop. You will find most laptop coolers are blown in to the laptop, which I don't, you know, based on how I've been doing it, don't really work. This blows away from the laptop, so it's sucking all the air out of the laptop, which is what I prefer, because I found 
from my own experience, this has worked. Um, my f actual laptop fan only comes on in gaming. This is the issue. It's only when gaming that I'm getting the ch graphics chip going 90 Celsius sometimes. Um, uh, that's about it, really. Um, you know, only do this if you feel comfortable and, you know, you take all the safety precautions you can because it's messing about with electric, which is, isn't very forgiving. But, yeah, that's about it, really. This is a Dell N5110. This crap phone ain't showing nothing. Uh, there it is, Instagram. N5110. Uh, it's just the GeForce 525 that's running really hot because there's no clamps on it. It's just two tiny little screws. There's no springs, no nothing. It's a bit of a poor design by Dell, as many of us has already posted on the Dell forum about this issue of over overheating. But some's got i7. This is an i5 which in, in over heating at all, it's just a graphics chip that's got crap cooling on it. Um, overall, these are stuck on, the RAM, the RAM things are stuck on by, by thermal, by thermal sticky tape you can buy. I got it from Maplin's, it's only a small, there's only a small amount, that's what the white is behind, that's sticky thermal. Um, well, you know, the simplest mod to do for most people is use dimples, you know, you ain't going to destroy nothing by just taking off the side with the heat sinks, and to be honest, you don't really notice it when you open up the screen anyway, you know, you've got to be one of those really, I can't, well, let's just say, I don't notice it that bad. Um, that's about it really.